Hello, Twatniks. Let's begin. Today, gentlemen, we have a game. Today, we are 0-4. Today, we play another team that is 0-4. Whichever team wins today will have their first win. The team that loses today will be 0-5. Let me put it a different way. Being 1-4 is like being a huge piece of shit. But being 0-5 is like being a huge piece of shit with vomit and piss on it. So being just a huge piece of shit or being 1-4 is better. Understand, jerk-offs? Let me put it another way. If you fucking punks lose this game, I'm going to have to make some very, very drastic decisions. We're playing the Chargers. What is that? Like an electrician? You know who's a Charger? My wife is a Charger. What do these guys do? Run around the field with credit cards? Chargers? What, what the fuck is that? And to make matters worse, these jerk-off Chargers are now from Los Angeles, the city that hasn't had an NFL franchise for 35 fucking years because none of those la-la pussies go to games. And now they have two teams. I guarantee both will relocate within five years. Go figure that fucking insanity out. All right. Okay. We could have won the last two games, and being two and two, we really would really feel good, you know? Right, boys? Nothing like being winless to put any amount of wins into perspective. But that said... I'm feeling pretty good about the offense scoring more than 20 points in the last two weeks. And Spags has always shown an ability to get the defense back on track. So, I like it. I feel good. I like our chances. My mother-in-law is going to mybookie.ag, putting in the promo code, capital V-I-C, and betting the over 43 and a half in the Giants game today. You know why? She said, hey, stupid, every time the Chargers and Giants play, it goes over. So bet the over. Here's what we need to do today, men. The Chargers don't scare anyone, okay? They're okay at receiver, okay? They're pretty nothing at running back. On defense, it's all about Rivers. He's a veteran. He is durable. He isn't a happy feet guy, okay? He's pretty tough. He's been around as long as Eli. What Rivers is, is a loser. He don't win nothing. Fuck him. Pressure his tits off. They won't run on us. So it's about tight coverage on the receivers and a nice pass rush on Rivers. Focus on that. Chargers defensive line, again, is a pretty tough one. Oh, joy. Isn't that wonderful, gentlemen? Just what our offensive line needs. Just when we were starting to play a little better up front offense, Richburg is out, okay? The center, the anchor. Let's try to put a game together where we have both sides of the ball clicking. Wouldn't that be nice, gentlemen, for a fucking change? You're fucking giving me big blue balls. Look. The Chargers rank last in rushing, and they rank last in defending the rush. So you know what the key is today? Establish the rushing game and offense and take away the rushing game to put pressure on the passing game on defense. Could it be any, any more simple, gentlemen? Anything else I need to say? What the fuck is it all about football that you mutton heads don't grasp? Guys, it's week five. It's time to stop the bleeding and get a win here, okay? Before we think about anything else, 
we need to put a W on the board, okay? Then we go from there. Guys, we need to put together a game where for four quarters we play like real football team. Offense, defense, special teams. Show me you can do this. I know you're all trying, I know that, and you, and you haven't given up, but, but show me how you can make that effort result in a fucking win, finally. And I look, I, I, I don't know what else to say. Eli, lead that fucking offense. Help them. Be the field general. Pierre Paul, lead that defense. Make them play hard. Every play. Go be professionals, guys. Go big blue. Go be the New York football giants.